Dear students, uh, this is module number 162 for the subject of SHRM. And in this module, we will talk about what is employee engagement, Khan's 1990s concept. Uh, we have been talking about employee engagement and what are the positive outcomes of employee engagement or what are the impact of employee engagement on organization performance. We have been talking about employee engagement uh, in the previous modules, but what is the theory or where is a theory behind employee engagement or what it is, actually what it is in terms of our concept or our understanding. So the first theory, um, I would say, was presented by the Khan. It's a um, different pronunciation. Please be careful. Uh, in our local language, we also have something. Uh, if K-H-N-A-N, then we are not talking about that. It's an uh, American philosopher, an American theologist, um, theorist, uh, who, whose name is Khan. So Khan 1990 concept has taken the famous route in employee engagement. Uh, according to one research in 1990s, actually Khan introduced this concept or the theory of employee engagement. But what happened to the Khan in the first 10 years, probably not too much attention was paid to that for his, to his concept or his theory of employee engagement. However, in 2000, a lot of surveys came and Gallup took the, Gallup is an organization, I have talked about that. You have seen the Gallup surveys in Pakistan about who is the most famous politician, who is going to win this election in future. So Gallup is an organization that conduct research. So Gallup actually is one of the organization that advocated uh, that there are serious uh, issues in employee engagement in the United States. And they found that more than half of the population or half of the employees in the United States are disengaged or less engaged. That raised actually the warning for the United States um, and the organizations operating in the United States that how they will compete when there are disengaged or there are a lot of employees who are disengaged in the United States organizations. So Khan 1990 defines employee engagement as, so as I say that when it is a definition, I have to or you have to read it as it is, you have to quote it as it is. So the harnessing of organization members or cells to their work roles in engagement, people employ and express themselves physically, cognitively, and emotionally. So these are the three dimensions of employee engagement. We will talk about these three dimensions in the later modules, but however, let's see that I can conceptualize how can actually conceptualize employee engagement. There are some other versions of employee engagement as well. Some other people have also conceptualized employee engagement in some attitude and behavioral uh, uh, dimensions that might be different from what Kant's definition is. So at the opposite extreme, what I said, um, Kant 1990 found that disengagement. So we need to understand what is engagement. And if there is a disengagement, uh, there is engagement, what is the opposite of engagement? Is it a disengagement or it is something different? Some writers and some theorists in the field of social sciences and organizational sciences, they differ in their perspective about what is the opposite of uh, engagement. So, however, because this theory um, first dominated and emerged in the Kant's writings in 1990s, Khan, first thing, first, he conceptualized the opposite of engagement as a disengagement. We may understand, if we understand disengagement, it might facilitate us to understand what is engagement. So the withdrawal of the person's uh, preferred self. When you are at work, you have a preferred self. This is actually who you are. So you disengage or you withdraw from your, uh, what you are, from your organization. So a lack of connection, when employees are not having a lack of connection with whatsoever they are doing. For example, whatsoever is their job or their task in an organization. So there is a lack of connection of employees with the task they are performing. 
they are regarded as disengaged. So physical, cognitive and emotional absence. So this is another symptom or this is another indicator of employees disengagement that is physical, cognitive and emotional. Um, we will talk about cognitive later on what we mean by cognitive but for you guys to understand at this time at, at, at this point in time very briefly something which is related to mental mental things or mind related things cognitive engagement when you are mentally engaged in terms of uh, uh, your mental engagement at work so passive and um, and incomplete role performances so employees are passive rather than active so this is what um, uh, Khan has conceptualized, what is employee engagement. You have seen the definition of employee engagement that when employees are engaged in their work in terms of physical engagement, um, cognitive engagement and emotional engagement. And on the other words, I would also say that is it, a, it is a positive thing. Employees will engage or not engage. It depends on what. Obviously, we say that these are the work practices, HR practices, or organization practices. At the same time, there is there are some personality or predispositions in your attitude and behavior that also makes or that also form or that also influence on employee engagement. However, in organizations, we uh, focus on organizational practices. We will talk about those practices what drive engagement in the later modules. Thank you.